Hello everyone and welcome to another shear in Kisr Shulchan Aruch. Today we will be learning Simon Aleph, Sif Katan Hay in the Kitzer. The learning of this piece of Kisr Shulchan Aruch I am dedicating in the memory of a late dear friend of mine, uh, Yehuda Aryeh ben Shmuel. All of a shalom and the schus of the Liman Atari, his neshama should have an aliyah. Now, in this Sif Katan, the Kisr Shulchan Aruch is going to discuss the custom of reciting Tikkun Chatzois. Tikkun Chatzois was a compilation of tefillahs that were said at midnight, in the middle of the night, to mourn for the Beis Amigdash and to pray for the rebuilding of the Beis Amigdash. We should merit to see its rebuilding by Mehera v'yameinu. Now, the, it's unfortunately not a widespread custom to say Tikkun Chatzois anymore, but definitely we should learn this Sif Katan and people should realize at least that there is such a custom and there is such a concept as saying Tikkun Chatzais, even if the custom is not widespread. So the Kisr Shulchan Aruch says, Im lahashkim halayla oz tikkun If somebody has the ability to get up at Chatzais Halayla at midnight to recite Tikkun Chatzais, Mataiv, how wonderful that is. Amar, like it says in the Pasuk in Eicha, Kumi roini balayla shashmurais that I should arise and I will cry out. Over here, rina usually denotes singing. Over here, we are defining rina as crying out in mourning. Kumi, I shall arise, and roini balayla, I will cry out in mourning in the middle of the night, l'roisha shmurais, at the beginning of the watch, that connotes the time of the night at Chatzais, where the watch of the uh, malachim singing shira in Shamayim changes. Just like the Rabbi Shalom himself mourns for the Beis Amigdash at that time of the night, Shanama, like it says in the Pasuk in Yirmiya, Hashem Mimaraim Yishag, Hashem on high cries out, Umamain Kacha Yitain Kailai, and from his holy dwelling place he puts forth his voice, Sha'ay Yishag al Naveu, he roars and he calls out on his Beis Amigdash that was destroyed. Va'imer, and the Rabbi Nishalalam says, Ay Labanim, woe is to my children, because of their sins I have destroyed my house, my Beis Amigdash, Visarafti Esechali, and I burnt the Hechal, that's the part of the Beis Amigdash with the Menorah, the Mizbech Akteris, the Shulchan were located, Ve'eglisim Leben Umais, and I exiled them amongst the nations. So we see that the Rabbi Nishalalam himself mourns over the destruction and over our golos at midnight. So, so too, there is a practice for us to get up at midnight and say, Tikkun Chatzais. Ve'im i'ev shaloi lakum b'chatzais. If somebody does not have the ability to get up, excuse me, to get up at Chatzais, he needs more sleep. Yeskabar al kol panam lakum kaidam aloisa shachar. He should at least strengthen himself so that he should get up in the morning before alois, before dawn. Just like we see that David HaMelech says in Tehillim, I will awaken the dawn. David HaMelech said, I awaken the dawn. The dawn does not awaken me. In other words, David HaMelech said, I make it my practice to always be awake to serve Hashem before dawn. I don't allow myself to sleep past dawn so that the dawn should awaken me. Tikkun Chatzais is not something that can only be recited at midnight. You can recite Tikkun Chatzais later as well. After Tikkun Chatzais, he should spend his time engaged in Torah learning. Each person commensurate with his abilities. But, the Kisar Shachan Aruch says, to make a Seder, to make a time to learn Mishnayis, either at night or early in the morning, that comes before anything else. That takes precedence over any other Torah learning. Through the learning of Mishnayis, you could be Zoycha to a Neshama. That means that it will help your Neshama, it will give your Neshama, it will elevate your Neshama. Mishnah Isis Neshama, because the letters that spell Mishnah are the same letters that spell Neshama. 
but if somebody is not able to learn Mishnayis, he should engage himself in saying Tilim and saying Mamadois. Mamadois were different portions of the Torah that used to be recited by different groups of people in each town. Those were people who, who their Torah learning, together with the people from that locale who went to the Beis Amigdosh to stand over the Karbanas, they were the representatives of the Tzibur in the Beis Amigdosh. The Sifre Musser, or you should learn Sifre Musser. The Taiv Ma'at Pekavana, it's better to learn a small amount, but with Kavana, with intent and with understanding. Meharbais Palai Kavana, they're just rambling a lot without knowing what you're saying. Tana Rebchia, we learned Rebchia learned in Abraisa, he taught in Abraisa. Kala Isaac Patara Balaila Shechina Kenegdoi. Anybody who engages in terror learning at night, the divine presence is with him. Shanamra, like it says in the Pasuk, we quoted before from Eicha. Now we're going to translate the word Raini not as crying out in mourning, but as singing, the singing of Torah learning. I will arise and I will sing Torah learning at night, when the watches of the angels change in heaven. I will pour out like water my heart before the presence of Hashem. So you see that if you learn Torah at night, you're in the presence of Hashem. Perish, the explanation of this Pasuk is, he az that at night when you learn Torah, the Shechina is with you. Ayd Amru Rabbi Seinu Zechreinim Levracha, our Chazal also have said, Shekala Isaac Patara Balayla, anybody who engages in Torah learning at night, Nikra Eved Hashem, is called a true servant of Hashem. Kamay Shekasav, like it says in the Pasuk in Tehillim, Kal Avdei Hashem Ha'imdim Beveis Hashem Balaylois. All of the servants of Hashem who stand in the house of Hashem at night. The house of Hashem over here is the Beis HaMedrish. If you're in the Beis HaMedrish at night learning Torah, you are with the Shechina. During the short nights, where it's difficult to get up early, at least a person should take great care to strengthen himself to get up on time to come to Shachris, to prepare himself, and to daven properly with the Tzibur. Thank you so much for joining me for learning. I hope you will continue to join me for much, much, more, much, much, much more Torah learning in the days to come. Be well. Thank you.